Well, hello there, guys, and welcome to City Skylines. This is me, Kusan, and today we are looking at my little city here, my little settlement of Kusantilly. Uh, Kusantilly is, of course, here built on. Uh, what are you talking about? Figure out what you're going to say, then say it. I want to tell people what it is, where it is, where it is, uh, and what's it doing. It, what's it doing? So here it is, when you enter the city, you kind of have to veer right. Obviously everything's a dirt road right now, because that's just how I roll. I mean, look at that. 1,182 people. Not one little sad face. Everyone's super happy. Uh, come on. Global happiness. Ugh. I'm not letting me select that for some reason. How about this one? Anyway, they're pretty happy. I mean, these folks right here have probably just angry neighbors or something like that. Uh, residential happiness. But you know why also? I've been I've been destroying these people's houses in order to make them all Art Deco. Not all the houses. Look, some of them I let be normal houses. But for the most part, there was a lot of dis demolishing of houses, and I made all these guys historical, uh, except some of them because you know I got lucky. But most of them are histor historical. And on this side is the commercial. It's pitiful, honestly. I mean, and it doesn't even look that good. I tried doing the same thing, making them Art Deco, like that. Like, this guy right here is definitely not Art Deco. Oh my gosh, my camera went away. But the point is here that what happens when they drive into the city, I don't know why my camera keeps going, but it's quite a nice little scrolling effect, isn't it? And so the, 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 the way that I kind of have a slogan for my city, it's called, it's a little hilly in Kusantilly. So as you, as you drive up this road here, and I'm gonna do it with my mouse because I'm holding the microphone, like some classy bourgeoisie uh, person. Yeah, so you, look, look, just look at that, there's hills. You can't deny it, especially, well, I mean, over there there's more hills, and over there there's, like, actual mountains or whatever. There are mountains, but they're all far away and stuff, but, like, there are, there are pro hills in the proximity, let's put it this way. So, okay, let's just uh, speed over on right here. So, right here, when the road turns, it's actually turning because it's going up to what I consider, personally, the tallest part. Uh, the tallest part of this little hill. But don't, don't worry, that's just the wires bringing us up here, but look at that. Coming up. You can tell the buildings are getting a little taller, a little taller, a little taller, and here we are at the top of the hill, and it lasts for about one little block here. There's like a little dip, and then it goes back up to this dead tree. A lot of dead trees in my city, I don't know why. Um, but yeah, so what we're going to do here is do a nice little roundabout. Uh, it, it'll be a fashionable Art Deco roundabout, so it's not going to be round, you can guarantee you that. I like roundabouts, right? But when I see people play City Skylines, and they build little cubes like I did, little square boxes for the little grid city. And then they like, connect it up with a roundabout to another part. It just looks so detached. I mean, it looks so out of place. I want things to look like they were built, I don't know, kind of like... Maybe they didn't have a roundabout there in 1801, but by 1901 they're like, Oh my god, the horse carts are out of control, let's get a roundabout in here. It's probably not historical, probably, you know, there was like, cars that made roundabouts more important, but whatever. What, another thing I want to do in this city is kind of build little blocks like this. Uh, the industrial is separate from the residential, which is separate, pretty much separate from the uh, commercial right here. And so what's going to happen is, maybe if I make these things, these little babies highways, and move all these service buildings right here in the middle, I could disconnect them and have people, you know, kind of stranded in their little residential, industrial, or commercial zone. Now, nobody does this. Everybody who plays City Skylines, that I know at least, is always talking about, oh, mixed use, blah blah blah, it's such a good city planning technique. Yes, I know, in real life, I'd love it if there was a Walmart next to my house, there is. But the point is, you know, it, I want you to take the bus, or the tram, or the metro, or all three, or the train, and just take the transit, okay? We don't have any transit, so right now they're allowed to do whatever they want to do, it's all dirt roads anyway. On this side here, we have the uh, agricultural uh, zone. Now, I, I haven't done it yet, but I think it's, I think it's available to me. That's, that's, that's good. Look at that, you can zone it right there. Look at that, boom. I'm proving you what I mean by doing it live time. So, yeah, that would be a nice little farming area on this side. Farming area on that side. Look at that. So we have no choice but to kind of curve this road, roundabout curve back up onto this hill. Oh, and one more thing. Uh, if you're still listening, I mean, look at this hill. It gives you like the most beautiful San Francisco effect. When you have the little houses just go up the street, it's such a small slope, but it works wonders. I mean, if I didn't do this, if you had, let's say here, I use this little road tool here to, to disallow zoning right there. So by, by clicking that, this patch 
pe peach patch of green, this green peach patch, they have to build on the road right here and right there. I'm, I'm trying to use my head here. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so yeah, it looks quite nice actually. So I don't know, I mean, yeah. I tried getting a few more Art Deco buildings from the workshop and uh, we do have them. Beach Hotel, it's not that. But uh, yeah, like it's Miami Hotel and all these other hotels and all that. Uh, we'll try to put them in probably with our commercial. Um, commercial's not looking too great using the same effect because there's not as much diversity. You got, you got the picture. You got the picture? Right, so that's what we're going to work on next. We're going to go over that way after a roundabout. We're going to put some kind of a nice uh, building in the middle of the roundabout. There's going to be probably like a church or courthouse. Courthouse. The only problem I think with this whole concept is this little block here. It would have been nice uh, to, you know, have it kind of aligned perfectly right here. With uh, this coast right here. Um, I don't know, maybe it aligns better with this side. Maybe I should just let it go, but, you know, I like things to be aligned, but at the same time, I'm trying to keep it a little bit creative here. I, I don't want to, I don't want to do a grid city. I mean, most of the time when you start a city, you're not starting off with a curve, are you? And let me tell you, a good curve at that. I mean, it aligns so well. So yeah, I'll let, uh, I'll continue building this. I don't know, I'll probably do like a speed. I'll do it behind the scenes, you know, put some, put some jazz music on for you. It's probably, uh, probably a good idea because if I build and try to talk, uh, the, the talking's not good. I don't say anything important. I just say, oh, this road goes here and this road goes here. No, it doesn't go there. I, I demolish things by accident and get the wrong curve and stuff. So let me focus on the building. Then we do a little recap. Probably do that what once an episode, twice an episode, beginning and end. How do you like that? Art Deco, Claptrap. Yeah, okay, so Little Hilly and Kusant Hilly. Oh, yeah, look, look, there's another hill over there. So we're gonna go over there, right? Cool. So see you guys there on the other side, on the other side. Yeah, all right, good. I'm, I'm glad you're happy. And I'll be placing a lot more Art Deco buildings, I think. We'll see about that. So cheerio, see you next time. Cheerio, goodbye, thank you. Keep, stay tuned, yeah, okay. Ciao.